welcome back to the channel. Uh, I've recorded this intro already, but I am going to redo it because I didn't want all the waffling that I just put in the last one. So, <laughs> I am here today to show you this beautiful colouring book. Now, I have Lucy Just Adds Colour, or Lucy from Lucy Just Adds Colour, to blame for these purchases. So, I will link her channel in the description below for you. I will also link the books that I'm showing in the video today. But, ah, oh, I'm so glad that Lucy showed these on her channel because I can't wait to, like, get stuck into this. So, I'm going to move the bottom two out of the way for, for a moment. And we will concentrate on the colouring book. So this is, I think Lucy's was hardback. Mine's got the the wood board here, the chipboard at the back. So it's hard on the back. It did come a little, a little bit scuffedy, damagedy, but it's on the back cover. You know, no one's going to see it. It's fine. I mean, you know, it could be nicer, but hey. So this is by Freya Hartus. And until Lucy showed this, I had never heard of it. So you open it up, it's they're all in landscape format. Um, compared to an RJ Hampson book for size reference, it is a little bit bigger, both in length and width, just for a reference there. And yes, that's the new RJ Hampson book, Sneak Peek at Maya Hall. <laughs> so the first page introduces you to all of our animals. So we have the deer family and it tells you all of their names. We have the bat family, <laughs> the little spider, a snake. The skunk family, pigeon family, rabbit family. Frog and grandpa toad, so cute. The fox family. The Mice Family, The Weasel Family, The Raccoon Family, Professor Owl. Is that Owl? Yes. And obviously the Bear Family because we are Welcome to Brown Bear Wood. So then you get into the pictures. I'm going to move this slightly, tuck that under so you can see these. So here are our images and there are 20 altogether, including that first page introducing all of the animals. And this is basically like a find and colour. So you find, uh, it says, bear decorating his den with beautiful flowers from the woodland. So then you look for the bear decorating the den and you can kind of tick it off. But obviously that's not the reason I bought this book. Um, I love these illustrations. This is all drawn in like a, a brown ink. There we go. Let's zoom you in a bit so you can see that ink. Um, it is a gorgeous thick, and I mean like really nice weight, cardstocky type paper. The um, they are kind of single-sided because you just have this pattern on the back of all of them. So if you wanted to use alcohol markers, you could. But for me, I think this is crying out to be done with like polychromos. Um, sort of, you know, your, your pencils that keep a finer tip because of all the little tiny details. Um, I think watercolour would also work really nice on this paper. Obviously, I have to test it first, so don't take me up on that just yet. But I will zoom you out again slightly. Make sure the whole of the picture is in frame. And I'll just give you a flick through of the colouring book. So we have Bear's Home. Then we have Bear's School. to take a little longer on the pages just so you can take in some of that detail then we have a bear's special friend it 
also doesn't tell you that this is Mr. Oak, I think it's called. Look at the uh, other book for a second. Grand Old Oak, I think his name is. The tree. So then we have a planning a party. So, so cute. Bunny's birthday. Swimming lesson. Um, up in the trees. I love this image. So, so cute. Summer picnic. As soon as I saw Lucy's video, I commented on, on her video. Um, and I was like, yeah, they, they fell into my basket. Oops. Um, there helps with a play. Autumn party. There's so, so little details. But sometimes, you know, I really enjoy things that have a lot of detail. That you can just do a little bit at a time until you've sort of completed the whole picture. I can imagine these will take quite a while to colour. Because there is just so much and they're so te teeny tiny. Um, but yeah, I, I'm looking forward to... To using my polys, I think, on these, mostly. Just going to move this forward a bit because it's getting a bit stuck. Um, art class. Bears campfire. You can have fun playing around with the light source surrounding that campfire. Collecting the mail. Here's Grand Old Oak again. Craft Club. I have to move this out a bit. There we go. Rainy Days. Winter Feast. So we are going through the seasons in this book as well. Snow Day. Gorgeous one for Christmassy, wintry time. Bear performs in a play. I would love these just you know, in like A3 format rather than sort of A4 sized. It would be amazing in like a poster book. Bear's Bedtime. And that is our last one. And then, as I say, we've got, I've got this uh, kind of chipboard back on it. So... As you may have seen as I was flicking, I have post-it notes on all of the pages. So I've classed this one here as the first image rather than this one because this to me is like an introductory image. So that is where the other two books come in. Um, I checked out the other books by this illustrator. And they're not colouring books, but they are reference books that go with this book. And you guys know that I am a sucker for reference. <laughs> so, if I can try and fit this all in frame here, probably not. OK, 
Okay, I'll try and do as best as I can because this is a big book. Um, the first one I have here is If You Go Down to the Woods Today. And as you can see, this says Brown Bear Wood. It's by the same uh, illustrator and the poems inside it are by Rachel Piercy. And I have gone ahead and numbered all of the pages in here that are in here. And the same with the second book, which is Grand Old Oak and the Birthday Ball. As you can see, there's not as many in this book. But that means they could make a second book um, with some more images in. So let's keep fingers crossed for that. So there's only 3, 4, 13, 14 and 18 in here. So if you like, if you wanted to grab the book and one of the reference books, I would, and you can't like afford both at once, I would definitely suggest if you go down to the woods today, because there are quite a few pages in here that are in here. So that will give you like a good jumping off point as a reference if you wanted to use those. Okay, so. I've also written on the post-it note here, as well as the title of the page, which is Bear's Home. Um, I wrote the book that it's from, so if you go down to the woods today. And I wrote down the name of the title in the book, because some of them are differing. So in this one, it's called Bear's Home. But if we switch to the reference picture... It's called Home Sweet Home. And this is our reference picture. So this picture here is exactly the same as this, just shrunk down a lot. So let's pick out that bear that was doing the uh, decorating the den. We can find her here. So obviously I'm going to try and replicate the colours in this book because I love copying colours. This is a gorgeous spring one in my opinion. Um, and then in here it shows you the same things to find as what is listed on here. So and then you get a beautiful poem with it too. So this one is All of Us Are Busy Now Settling Into Home. Bringing, building, borrowing, and making it our own. A tree for owl, a log for frog, a web for spinning spider. A hole dug from the earth for fox, her rusty cubs beside her. Each tree can host a hundred rooms, with roots to hide beneath. With hidey holes inside the bark, and boughs where creatures sleep. And everywhere, the sun and sky grow from the ground as well. In dazzling yellow daffodils, in blue and breezy bells. So cute. So uh, I did try to find um, videos of this on YouTube to see if they did match the book. And I could see a couple of preview pics on Amazon. But I didn't know if they were all in one book or if they spread across both. I went out on a whim and bought both. And I'm glad I did because those, even though there's only five images in that other book, those missing five images would have annoyed me. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and pop the one underneath to one side. And I'll show you through the pages in this book that appear in the colouring book. Okay, so this is our number one, which is Home Sweet Home. And we have number two, which is School Days. Number five, which is High Summer. Oh, silly me. 
have I stuck? I've stuck two tabs to the same page. What a nincompoop. Let me see which one this is. So this is called High Summer. I've got it tabbed as number five and number seven. Doo -doo -doo. So number five is actually Bunny's birthday. So let's take that number five tab off of there. And find Bunny's birthday. Here it is. So this is our number five. That was a bit funny. So, yep, really cute. Then we can go to number six. Which is swimming lessons. Can't wait to try and replicate some of these colours. Um, we go back a page to number seven, which is High Summer. And then we jump forward to number eight. Again, a gorgeous spring page. Bear's Picnic. Look at these clouds. I'm not sure if you can see these in the actual colouring page I didn't look before number 8 no oh wrong page no they're not there that's that's such a shame if you were talented enough unlike me um, you'd probably be able to draw those in um, or like shade them into the sky somehow but yeah that's such a shame that they're not drawn into the the colouring book. Okay, number nine is putting on a play. Number ten is goodbye party. So this one to me is quite autumnal got your blackberries and your like harvest fruits and mushrooms still quite spring colors and very green but the just the little tinges of orange and that that are coming in makes me think we're sort of going into autumny season with that one number 11 again a very autumnal page we have art class And 12, we have that campfire one. Look how they're all glowing. So cute. And then we jump to 15. So we have to go back a page to rainy day. Unfortunately, the pages are not in order. My numbers are, but you have to jump back and forth. Um, rainy day, then we go forward to 16, which is Bear's Winter Feast. Then we go back to number 17, which is Winter Sports. I love these deers. Look how adorable they are. I'm going to bring you in a bit. Oh, it's just the innocent face on this deer. It's so comical. I love it. And then we're going to just take you out again. Go ahead to number 19, which is the last one in here that's in the colouring book. And that is Bear's Den. So then at the back you have some other information about nature. These would be beautiful books for your children as well if you have children or grandchildren. Because you could colour the image and then say look this is where I, I saw the picture from. And then we've got some resources there. 
So that is if you go down to the woods today. And then the last book, which as I said has got the other five images in, is Grand Old Oak. I also think this is a slightly smaller book in images. I could be wrong, but it just felt a bit on the thinner side. So this is our number three which is How Old Is Oak? Very, very pretty. Again, quite springy. Then we go to number four. So we're skipping a page here that's not in the colouring book. And this is um, Bear Plans a Party. Then we go ahead to number 13, which is RSVPs Underground. It also says here autumn, so it does tell you the, the season, spring. That one's just Hello Oak. Then we have summer. Um, invitations by Air, that one's not in the book. So this is our 13. Very, very cute. And we have page 14, which is autumnal presents and preparations. This very proud stag here, look. <laughs> and then we jump a couple of pages ahead to number 18, which is in honour of oak. And that is our last page in here that's in the colouring book. So yeah. Like I say, some of these other pictures here um, that are in the book that aren't in the colouring book, I really hope that they make it into um, a colouring book. So I will be keeping my eyes peeled for anything else by this illustrator because I have fallen in love with her artwork it's just beautiful and whimsical and cute and you guys know I'm a sucker for cute so yeah that is Grand Old Oak if you go down to the woods today and the colouring and spotting book all by Freya Hartus in and it's the Brown Bear Wood series so like I say I'm going to link all of these in the description below for you should you wish to check them out um, the two reference books that I have are both hardback and this one is kind of paperback but it's got this rigid board like I say um, I do believe Lucy's was hardback, so worth checking out. Maybe other places you can get them as well if you want them all to be in the hardback format. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, let's see. Please could you leave me a leaf emoji? It can be any leaf, like an autumn leaf or an oak leaf, etc. But yeah, an, a nice leaf emoji. If you manage to make it all the way to the end of the video. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care everyone and happy colouring. Bye bye.